Welcome back guys. Um, today I uh, am taking a look at the new Linux Lite 3.0 um, code name or the name of the uh, release is Cit Citrine. Uh, it's on track for a June 1st release. Jerry, uh, the lead developer over at Linux Lite, has set, uh, stated that they are on track for the June 1st release this is the first beta uh, I have installed it without any issues the install went flawlessly uh, this is the citrine wallpaper very nice uh, you greeted with the welcome screen when you first sign in I went through the updates installing the updates and installing my drivers everything went flawlessly the, up, the update was quick. The driver install was was uh, no longer than normal. Um, on this particular computer, I have NVIDIA drivers, no Broadcom. It went very, very well. The only uh, programs I have installed uh, so far are GUVC View and Kazam in order to make this video. So if we go back to the welcome screen, um, they make a suggestion that you start here so install updates and drivers and then they have a section on upgrading and light software hardware recommendations online support there's a there's a help manual a hardware database uh, evidently there is a code um, and let's see we're in the process of producing custom free software So basically they're saying that if you're a developer and you want to get involved, um, you can click on this link for details. And there is a donation option and some social media options as well. Now upgrading and light software, um, as I said, I did the updates and the drivers. Light software, if I click on that, it will update sources and then it gives you an option to install remove or exit so if i click on install it will give me a menu of applications that i can install um, with what basically one click so it's a very nice convenient way of installing software and as you can see it's quite a good variety audacity Cherry Tree is there, which I really like. Uh, Chromium uh, for an additional web browser, Dropbox. Um, you can manage your iDevices. Uh, Pigeon, Kodi, uh, Clementine. Play on Linux, Steam is available. Wine, of course. Uh, and GUVC View, I mentioned I did install that. So uh, you've got quite a variety of software that you can install using the light software module. Now, one thing I noticed that um, in the 2.8, there was a light control center, a little red icon that was here. And I'm not seeing that here any longer. Um, so I don't know exactly why that is. We're going to quit the light software. Hardware recommendations. Uh, me recommended minimum 700 megahertz processor, 512 megs of RAM, VGA 1024768, and a DVD drive or a USB port for the ISO image. Preferred is one and a half gigabytes um, basically a gig of RAM and um, 1366 by 768 uh, and so that shouldn't be a problem for most uh, everybody even my Chromebook meets the specs on that now let's see if I can figure out what's going on with that um, 
let's see, under system. I'm still not, I'm not seeing the light control center. So let's click on the settings. And looks like they have eliminated the control center in this 3.0, which I actually like that control center. Maybe we can get some feedback from Jerry on uh, why that control center uh, was eliminated from the uh, panel. Because it was in a prominent place right on the panel here, and I thought it was a nice addition. And it put a lot of functionality right within one click. So you've got your normal XFCE uh, settings. Uh, the, as I said, the menu um, is XFCE Whisker Menu. I haven't changed anything. The uh, categories are on the left by default. And um, so if I look at, uh, let's see, accessories. Uh, the only thing I added was down in multimedia, I added Kazam and GUVC view. So you can see uh, you've got a spreadsheet with processor, uh, presentation software, PDF viewer. My NVIDIA installed, no problem at all. Uh, there is the light software option as I mentioned before. Internet is Firefox. There is a link for support, online support. Linux Lite does have an excellent online forum. Uh, the community there is very helpful. I've never had any issues at all uh, trying to get any questions answered or problems solved. Graphics GIMP, there is an image viewer and a scanner accessories application finder backups calculator so all screenshot all of the uh, usual um, requirements are met uh, no problems there at all and as I said everything installed properly no issues at all everything looks fine I like the uh, new uh, citrine uh, desktop wallpaper it's different uh, I like the uh, the look of it and so this is the first look guys at the Linux Lite 3.0 uh, the name of the release is Citrine they're going away from numbered releases the way I understand it and going with um, code names so this one being the first instead of referring to it as Linux Lite 3.0 we'll call it Linux Lite Citrine and uh, they may have a, uh, nu a, nu a numeral configuration after the word citrine, but um, we'll see what they end up with. Nevertheless, it's a typical, good, nicely done uh, distribution. I haven't found any issues with the beta. Again, this is a beta. Uh, the final release is on track for June 1st. I'm looking forward to that. I'll do another update as soon as the um, the final release candidate comes out on June 1st. So guys, uh, thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.